And who were your artist mentors as oh a young goodness. man? I mean, who did you look at and well, it excited you? Well, I, I must say, hero worship comes it's still to this day. A, um, I met Tanya Mozevich in '49, and um, she, she, and uh, she became an instant friend. And right till she died a couple of years ago. Uh, but when I was at this art school for one, literally it was like less than three months, an exhibition came to this art school, and um, the. Uh, just after the war, we had a government during the war that cared very much about the plight of artists. Can you imagine? Hello, Mrs. Thatcher. <laughs> um, and something called the Arts Council was formed. And to my little tiny art school, on nowhere, came an exhibition of drawings, theatre drawings. There was Deutsch Sinkhausen, Edward Burra, Rex Whistler, and a man called Oliver Messel. And Oliver Messel had just done the amazing Sleeping Beauty at Covent Garden after the war, opened the garden after the war. And also he did a, a, a country wife with Ruth Gordon that was one of the first things to go to America from the old Vic. And Ruth Gordon was famous, you know, well, you know who she is, was. Um, and the drawings just, I was, I, I was a goner. The drawings were so enchanting and there was something about them that just spoke to me. And the uh, fo following week I, went to the, to the reference library, which is an hour away, found this wonderful book on him, which was printed the year I was born. And it was uh, at 25, he designed La Belle Helene at Drury Lane, trained as a painter. And all his eye, he, he looked like, he looked um, for things as a painter, looked at things as a painter. And one of the wittiest um, hands I've ever come across, films, he couldn't do anything. You know. Wittiest hands, what do you mean? Well, he could make anything from anything. Um, and the artifice, which I, I mean, the real quote, doesn't, I, don't, I don't care, it doesn't, doesn't interest me, but the illusion of it is great fun to do. Like, I've never, ever believed real blood gushing away, ever. Silly, stupid, messy. But you hide it and act pain. The sound, you know, a li uh, example, Olivier, in Titus, in Peter Brook one, had to cut his hand off, right? A Roman knife shaped like that. And in this costume, he used to palm a little England's Glory matchbox. It's about this big. You want know, a little drawing there? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he was, such was his skill, he was able to palm it, lift the knife, the audience out there, to lift the knife and go chum, through the matchbox. And, the, and something in you know, a cloth was muffled away. That little sound sent the St. John's ambulance squirreling with people fainting away because right. the sound was more powerful than seeing a hand with blood and stuff, you know. So